Hi, I'm Jo and this is a follow-up video to the tag that I did earlier this week. The I can't believe you haven't read that tag. So I took that tag as being lighthearted. I'm a very sarcastic person, that's just my personality and if you ever wonder when you're watching something, is she being sarcastic or facetious? I'm being sarcastic. I thought it was a lighthearted tag and that's the way I went with it. I'm not really judging you if you've never read those books. So this is sort of my own response video to the tag. These are five books that I cannot believe that I just read in the past year. What was I doing? I don't know. So again, I'm being sarcastic and I'm making fun of myself. So the first book, these are in no particular order, but um, the first book that I can't believe that I did not read until the past year is Willa Cather's O Pioneers. I love this book. It's a story of a family that settle in, I believe, Nebraska. Yeah, the Nebraska Prairie. The father is ill and dies, and he has sons, but he also has a daughter, and he leaves the daughter in charge, not the sons. This is her story of how she takes care of the family farm and makes the decisions and goes up against her brothers. I loved this book. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I never had to read this in school. My 15 year old son said that he read it in middle school. So I am glad that he at least had to read it. I doubt that he really got too much out of it because I have sort of a love hate relationship with forced required reading. I know that when I was in school in elementary school and our teachers chose books for us, I just did not like being told what I had to read and I did not enjoy the book simply because I was being forced to read it. So anyway, I never had to read this book. I read it this past year and wow. I also really like this cover. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. This is instantly one of my top five favorite books of ever. Wow. If you are a book lover, you have to read this book. It's about the importance of books and censoring and what would you do if you had to either burn every single book you had or rebel against the government and risk your life. I adored this book. I did a book review on this in September for Band Book Week. So you can check that out. I will link to it down below. John Steinbeck, The Grapes of Wrath. My gosh, this book is fantastic. It breaks your heart. This I read actually not this past April, but the April before because it was the anniversary of this book. I believe it was the 80th anniversary. It had to have been the 80th anniversary. And I adored it. This is, of course, one of my favorite time periods during the Great Depression, World Wars, a family that live in the Dust Bowl in Oklahoma, and what they do to survive the Depression. It also sort of reminds me of things that our economy and families are going through to some extent today. Of course, there's a lot more government help now than there was then. There was no government help then, and now there are also working unions. But at the same time, it's it stands the test of time, and it was amazing, and it's an important part of our American heritage, I think. So, amazing. Also, the Dust Bowl was a man made event or tragedy, whatever you want to call it. It was uh, the Industrial Revolution, the invention of tractors, and repeatedly um, plowing the fields and uh, taking away all of the uh, weeds, trees, bushes, and whatnot. So it was all basically topsoil. So when the wind came, it all went, and that was it. So. It was a lot of growing pains for our country at that time. And last but definitely not least, The Color Purple by Alice Walker, which I just read a couple days ago. How have I not read this? Wow. 
and reading the first page, I almost put the book down because trigger warning, I mean, yeah, rape and incest, it's there. So you're forewarned, but it was an amazing book. I don't think I would ever be able to watch the movie because of those things, the beatings and that the horrible things. I wouldn't be able to watch people act that out. Somehow I am better at reading about those things because I just don't let myself imagine it too much. Uh, but this was an amazing book and I loved it and I loved the ending and it was fabulous. I think I held my breath through this entire book. I read it, I think in about like five hours or so. I couldn't stop. And wow. I mean, afterwards I was just like, oh, I don't think I breathed the entire time. And I still can't believe this was fantastic. Let me know if there's a book that you have read in the past year that you can't believe you didn't read it until this past year, that it just blew your mind. It was amazing. Let me know. And if I haven't read it, I want to read it. So I will talk to you later. Bye.